previously on 21RC. I've had a lot of Tamiya models in my time, but I've only ever had one Kyosho. And this is the Kyosho Big Brute, check it out. Hey YouTube land, thanks for tuning in. Um, welcome to another little video. We're going to do a little bit of a Big Brute update. But before I carry on with that, you know the score. It's time to do all this malarkey. There you go, do some of that please, that'd be great. And if you could leave a comment at the bottom there once the video's over, or even halfway through, it doesn't really matter. Um, that'd be fantastic too. And give it a like also, and share with your friends. Tell your friends, tell your friends to watch this. Anyway, without further ado, Big Brute update. I've got a box of stuff ready to... Uh, to bolt on. Firstly, I've got a box of, box of treats. Anyway, a brand new 540. Still got the little uh, black heat shrink thing on the end, so that's brand new, never been used. So that'd be handy, that'd be handy in the back. It doesn't need to go super quick, it's not gonna be a super quick car, so just a bit of fun in the off-road stuff, so that'd be ideal. So we got that, and we have a tin of red paint for the monster beetle. I also have some bearings. These are actually going in the transmission of the Big Brew. Get rid of those plastic bushings that have probably in there for, been in there for the best part of 30 years. So those can go in the bin and these can go in there. Right, we've got that. What else have we got? We have some, apparently it's quite good, it's paint remover. Bag. This box literally turned up today, so that's actually a glass bottle as well. The Carson Paint Killer, or whatever it's called. Yeah, paint killer. I don't know what it's like. I've read a few things saying it's alright, so I thought I'd give that a bash. Try and get rid of some of this. Talking of some of this, actually. I've taken I've managed to get all the stickers off. And that actually looks damn sight better than it did, I think you will agree. Even without stickers. I, yeah, so it's just a painted, it's been painted on many years ago, obviously. So I'm hoping that the Carson Paint Killer will um, we'll get that, get rid of that. So let's chuck that away, I'll go in the bin in a minute. Pop that back on. Right, what else have we got? New Spectrum receiver. So, uh, so I can tune my DX4S into it. We've got an FTX bumper for a Toro. A Toro, FTX Toro front bumper. That's actually going straight onto my brushless um, Outlaw. I also have a Tamiya. T L B R Z Z S T Y speed controller. It's got forward and reverse. It's brushed and brushless. It's what I have in my monster beetle actually, and that's got a 17 and a half turn brushless in it. But it started off, started off with a 540. So because the 540 is going in the big brute, I thought that was that was less than 20 quid. So that can be ideal, wouldn't it? And I've also got some other bolts in here. Let's have a look. What I do have is some more bearings for the hubs, but also recognise these bad boys. They are the wheel adapters, and they are made in nice aluminium. A set of four. A set of four aluminium wheel holders, wheel adapters. Sorry. Um, as I mentioned before, they, the plastic ones have a tendency to fall apart and snap in half if you do the wheel up too tight. Right, well, as we can see here, I've got the transmission in bits. It's a nice, wonderful selection of parts. Look at the teeth on that. That's monster, isn't it? It's monster teeth. And we've got some plastic bushings here, which are going to be ending up in the bin. Because obviously I bought those other ones. 
and so that'd be that, that'd be reassembled with some bearings and some nice new modern grease on some of these older gears and hopefully that should be, uh, we'll be going for a laugh with that. Right, well I'm giving the old Carson paint killer, whatever it's called, Carson paint killer a go and, ah yes, um, if, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat and a coat um, indoors, because uh, it's bloody cold out here in my little workshop, um, I've got a polycarbonate ceiling and it's a load of old rubbish. I didn't build it, so you know, but it's a load of old rubbish and at the precise moment, the 11th of February, it's bloody cold out here at like 8 o'clock at night. Anyway, I digress. I'm giving you a Carson paint killer a go. I've never used it before. And if you remember what the uh, Big Brute shell looked like earlier, earlier on in the video, it now looks like this. So it's it's all coming off. It's a bit of graft though, I must admit. Um, it hasn't come off easy. Um, also, because it was a painted, all well, the paint was painted on, um, you had lots of high spots and lots of thick bits of paint in crevices, and that's proving a, it's proving a chore, should we say. Anyway, I haven't, it says buying a new shell, and it is the actual original Kyosha one, so that's always a plus point, rather than like a TBG one or something like that, or a Repro shell. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna crack on with this little, ah, yeah, of course, there's another thing as well. Um, as you can see, I did give the old tyres a bit of a clean up, and uh, I uh, grabbed the tyre pen and just redid the Bridgestone logo. Um, not particularly good, but it's better than they were being all sort of chipped and faded and everything, so that's kind of cool. So yes, Project Big Brute is coming along. Um, I've got to think of some ideas for some paint schemes. I've got some retro ideas in my mind, but we're going to see how it pans out um, later on in the video. Alright, chill planes. I mean, um, YouTube land. Anyway, just so thought I'd post a quick video uh, to let you know how I'm getting on with my vintage Big Brute, my Kyosho Big Brute. That's right. Anyway, before we carry on, don't forget to do some of that, please. That'd be great. And give us a like and give us a share. Hopefully that doesn't fall down all over the place. Anyway, the Kyosho Big Brute. I've done a few things to it. It's uh, starting to come along, it's starting to take shape. Let's take a look, shall we? My little catchphrase there. Anyway, first thing, body shell. I showed you earlier, um, earlier on in the video, the, um, the paint killer was starting to take the paint off. However, it's starting to become a little bit of a pain in the bum because I can't get so many silly little spots off. Now, let's see if we can see on the old camera here. There are a number of, I don't know if you can see it actually in the funny old light that I've got in here, in the bloody daylight tubes. There are some aspects on there that I can't get off. Um, even with uh, soaking your paint killer in a rag and giving it a scrub. Stay there. Stay. Doesn't want to come off. And. There is only a little bit left, so I don't know how much further that's going to go. So, um, a bit touch and go with uh, getting the paint off the shell there. Anyway, excuse me. The Kyosho Big Brute, chassis wise. Right, how far have I got? Let's have a look. Right, well as you may remember earlier on in the video, I showed you the uh, aluminium wheel hubs. They're obviously on because they've got the wheels on. And you can see there's a battery attached as well. Um, as you can see also, it is actually a flat battery and one of the Gowning 6500 milliamp ones that I actually uh, reviewed uh, last year. So anyway, that's in there, a square battery, a LiPo in a, in a round hole, in a NICAD hole, if you will. And that is because I machined up a little bit of goodness uh, to uh, accommodate. As we can see, if, I don't know if you're familiar with the Car Crusher series, but this, this thing's a lot more sturdier than the, the one that Kyosho knocked out in a mould. And um, adorned the cars with, but it's uh, obviously the same uh, mounting mechanism as well. So you just pop the clip open. That's a little bit snug in there, but it fits. I mean, these things are like 26 mil high, I think. So if you had a smaller lipo, that would probably go in there a piece of 
a piece of the proverbial, but as it is, that still slides in there nicely, and that goes on there like that. And we just stick the body clip in there, and Bob's your uncle, Terry and June, or whatever, whoever, whoever's your uncle. Anyway, that goes in there like that. So that's what you'll also notice is there are wires coming out. Wow, there are wires coming out of this damn thing. Right, so what I did, I made a new one of those up, um, so, so, so I can have the wires going out the top. So I, did, I didn't want to muller the uh, actual, um, the actual uh, the plastic casing itself. But to give a bit more clarity to what I'm going to show you, let's just pop them out of there. Okay, so it's just a, enough bit of Lexan with a corner cut out. Sling them to one side. Right, we have, as we can see here, we have the Tamiya Speedo mounted in the bottom there that I showed you earlier on in a video. That is in brushed mode, obviously, as you can tell, because the, uh, the orange wire is safely tucked away and but in the front maybe a bit overkill but I do have a um, <laughs> it's probably a lot overkill actually it's a Savox uh, 1258 so that's gonna be plenty yeah okay that's just a bit weird isn't it right anyway anyway right so obviously that's the uh, Koesha big brute um, obviously there hasn't been a great deal of things happening um, obviously I'm busy doing other things as I can't even do this camera thing there's a sump there look anyway by the way don't, for, don't forget to do some of that that'd be great thank you there's a sump there and obviously there are other things going on in the 21 RC garage there is the bike the bike is coming along ready for the spring so yeah, anyway, that is a uh, that is a shape of things in the 21 RC garage, motorbikes and RC cars. The big Kyosho Big Brute, as you can see, is coming along slowly but surely. Um, uh, I'm just waiting on a receiver actually, so I can bind that up and see how it goes. And a pinion, that wouldn't go amiss because the other one's a bit um, bit had it had its day, should we say? Anyway, that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed this quick little catch up. Uh, it's only a few minutes to waste your time while you're on the toilet or something like that. Um, it's definitely something for work because there is no swearing or new pictures. Anyway. Hope you've enjoyed this little vid and don't forget to like, subscribe, share and do some, I've got to do some hand movements like Ted Rogers on 321. Give me some of that as well please, that'd be great, fantastico. Anyway, I'm really pleased with the success of the last video that I did. I hope you enjoyed that, it looks it looking like you did. Um, so things are on the up and up for my little YouTube videos. Probably not after this one. Anyway, ciao a tutti, ciao for now, goodbye.